I'm Roland McIntosh, and I'd uh, like to talk to you about uh, agate in general, and more specifically, I'm Roland McIntosh, and I'd uh, like to talk to you about uh, agate in general, and more specifically, Kentucky agate. Kentucky agate has got so many colors and forms uh, almost inclusive of all the rest of the world in this one place and some of the rarest colors of any place in the world. Uh, Kentucky agate was formed in the Borden Formation uh, which is was laid down previous to the limestone and the sandstone that's here in eastern Kentucky and it was formed between 250 and 275 million years ago and it occurs as float or if it's from erosion and we find it in the creek beds and in the streams and rivers uh, around eastern Kentucky. A party of rock hunters slowly travels upstream. I had the opportunity to join these adventurers in a quest for a rare mineral known as Kentucky agate. In its raw form, a Kentucky agate specimen looks a lot like any other geode you might find in a stream. Roland McIntosh and his buddy James Johnson have been walking streams for 20 years. Their eyes are well trained. And I soon discovered it would take me a decade or two to learn how to spot Kentucky agate. My golden retriever, Charlie, is trying his best to find whatever it is we're looking for. So is Rachel Savane. She's a well-known Lexington jewelry designer who works with Kentucky Agate. But even she seems stumped on her first field hunt until she found a specimen already sliced open by Mother Nature. All right. <laughs> Not so tasty, then. <laughs> The first one, and real obvious, because it's already broken open for us. <laughs> it's beautiful stuff. It seems like I see one hid underneath the rock here, uh, is what we're looking for. Uh, it's right here, and uh, it's a definite geode form, and it looks like it might be real agate. And I believe it is. Yep, that's going to have agate inside of it. It's got good weight to it. Well, it must take years of uh, training your eye. It, huh? it does for sure. And right here beside of it is another piece that is uh, got some color to it, but uh, it's not exactly what we're looking for. Uh, this is actually a geode. It's beautiful on the outside, but... Uh, this is not likely to have agate on the inside after having seen the inside of many of them, I can say that, though it will have some nice, nice crystals. crystal formations inside. And this is all coming out of the, what, Mississippian? Mississippian formation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, how many hundreds of millions of years uh, ago. <laughs> the, the exact level that these are coming out where they formed in matrix is uh, uh, between 250 and 275 million years ago they were formed mm -hmm. in this area. Now in other areas they were formed at different times because of different geological conditions that were there. And the colors are from different trace minerals, uh, iron, magnesium, uh, zinc, uh, copper sometimes. All the agate that I know of is on private land, and 
So you shouldn't, you know, just see a bridge and see a creek or something and jump down in it. You need to get permission from the landowner to, to hunt and tell them what you're doing and make sure that, you know, you know where their boundary lines are. And if you want to go further than, than what their boundary is, then you ask the next landowner to get their permission. But it's very important that we do that and leave nothing but your tracks. And don't leave those unless you have to. <laughs> On a cold, cloudy day two, Roland and I searched another stream. Look at the coral. Look at this. Oh, nice coral. Oh, look at that nice coral. I've cut some of that, too. It's beautiful. 250 million year old coral. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful from the, piece. From the bottom of that's an ocean a, that a, used to be that's here. That's a beautiful piece, too. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a whole Quartz. head. That's a whole yeah. coral head. Yeah. Unless you miss them, then. <laughs> no, I probably did. <laughs> but I didn't look at it. I feel like a privileged character. <laughs> With Roland's eagle eyes and a hint, I picked up my first piece of Kentucky agate. Oh, <laughs> look at the red. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 20 years, 20 years, your eye is trained. I had one more great find that day. We took my specimen back to Roland's shop, a rundown building crammed full of greasy cutting and polishing equipment. Okay, now we got enough for a specimen on the end cut there. Get it up close to the saw blade. Make sure the blade clears. And down she goes. We keep now it on. just wait. We wait. All right. The moment is true. The moment is true. All right. It's done. The saw goes off. We got to wait just a minute. The moment of truth. Oh, oh, oh man, look. a floater, a beauty, a beauty, a floater, <laughs> ah, yellow, Yay, a little orange, green. pink. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, man! Oh. What a great first find. Oh man. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, oh, look at the look oh, at the floater. Oh God, that it is was the same fish. feeling oh. as catching my first fish Wonderful. or getting a new puppy. <laughs> I had actually discovered a beautiful specimen of Kentucky agate. Oh, For Roland, that feeling of jubilation goes back two decades. Since then, he's built a massive agate collection, one of the finest in the world. This is a, one of the largest pieces that I found of ruins agate. And what happened, originally, this had uh, bands all the way around. And for some reason, unknown to me at the moment, these bands separated and then reformed and made this very abstract pattern here. And um, if I put a little water on there, it will look more like it would look if it's polished. And, and we have a lot of red in here. Yes. Which and is, is really uh, the ultimate uh, agate, correct? It's, yes, it okay. is. It, uh, the way this red is formed uh, with these beautiful bands and uh, with the contrast, uh, nowhere else in the world known to me at the moment does it exist like this. We have uh, in Kentucky, of one of the largest varieties of colors and forms of agate that there is anywhere in the world. Well, we have yellow, black. Yeah, uh, uh, the here's whole a spectrum. here's a piece of uh, yellow and black, and uh, again, uh, it will be much shinier than that when it, when it's polished. And uh, most of the agate here in Kentucky is uh, banded.